In this very short video, we are going to talk about a very specific type of pointers, which is the white pointer. So what is a white pointer? So basically when we create a pointer, we use a keyword, but in white pointers, we use the white keyword. So let me just put it up over here. Let me just include my library, stdio.h and then create my main function. And then let me just return zero because I want to show you step by step how white pointers work. So normally when we create a pointer, we do something like integer star pointer. Now this pointer can only be used to refer to integer values. However, if we use the keyword void, now this pointer is not bound by data type. Yes, that is true that this pointer is not bound by a data type. So it can be used to refer to any sort of variable. Now let me just show you. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a variable of integer data type and I'm going to call it number and set it equal to one, two, three, four. After that, I'm going to use a float data type, not data, let's just call it number two and set it equal to something like 56.56. .56. I can use this void pointer to refer to both of these, even though they are of the different data type. So if I do P is equals to address of number and then I do printf the integer value through void pointer is as and then I do something like percentage D and then I pass in my pointer with the asterisk symbol. After that, I can do P is equals to address of number two, then I can simply copy this line and say that the float value using the white pointer is as percentage F and pass in my pointer. But as you can see on the screen that it is showing a squiggly line and it says that incomplete type is not allowed. Now why is this? Basically when we are trying to get the value from a pointer into the printf statement or into any other variable, in that particular case we need to change the data type or we need to define the data type and then we do float and we also need to define with another bracket that this is a type casting for our pointer now with that i should have no errors on my screen so now i can use this white pointer to refer to different types of variables and then define the type only when i want to use that variable or that particular value so if i save my program and execute it i would get the following result on my screen that the integer value through the white pointer is as this one and the float value is this one. I should have put a new line over here. So if I rerun the code, so this is much better. And it says that the integer value is one, two, three, four, and the float value is 56.56. .56. So that is how you use a void pointer in the C programming language. 